what's happening? We're on the way to Sushi Ginza Onodera. Onodera? What's it called? It's her birthday today. Our reservation's at five and we're late. Because I wanted to vlog this whole thing. I wanted to get a new camera. So I went to go buy this camera and it's not charged. So I'm charging it in the car, but I don't think it's gonna be enough for the whole dinner. But it's all good. We have my phone as backup. I'm used to taking videos vertically and look at all this room space, like landscape wise. Like this is arm space. I can like go like this instead of going landscape like that. I mean vertical wise. Time to wear a mask because we're here at the parking lot. Okay, we found the place. 2019. Two Michelin stars. Cheers. Happy birthday. Thank you. Oh, it's so cute. So tiny. <laughs> Tastes like alcoholic flowers. That's delightful. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I didn't even notice. It was like right beside me. Like chilling, literally chill. Yeah. She had a head start. Oh, how's the egg? Is it egg custard? Egg custard? Egg custard with caviar. And the sea urchin is from Japan. Oh, from Japan. Everything's imported by, um, from Japan. And I think that's the reason why we get the other thing. because we have to start with this. Oh my god. You need to see this. Oh my god. Look at that. Look, there's a sea urchin right there. What is that, wasabi? Is that green thing wasabi or something? I'll try. Mm. There's like explosion in your mouth. It's like creamy, fishy, umami. Yeah, it's umami. It looks like flan. It's egg custard, that's what, right? It's jello. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wow. Pretty. I feel like we're in a hurry since um, we came here late. Oh, she's enjoying her food. Okay, let me try, let me try, let me try. Oh, it has flowers on it. And scallions, and that green thing again. I think it's wasabi. Mm. The marination on this octopus is so good. It reminds me of a little bit of like soy sauce. So he said he made homemade garlic sauce. It looks like tuna to me. What is it? I don't know. Ooh, look how you. Yeah, I like how you grab that professional or what? Ooh, he even has a red thing on it. I hope I can get it. Oh my gosh. Mmm. About the whole hundred of grams. I got the sashimi. Sashimi. Oh, wow. Mmm. Wow, the marination, I just want to savor it in my mouth. Oh, it's hot. It tastes like light cheese. Mm. It's like hot and cold, and you put it together. It just... And his name is John C. Jana was saying that the little one is... Slightly sour. Mm -hmm. And then the bigger one was sweet. So sweet, sour, hot, and cold together. The universe is exploded. My. With the gold flakes. It's interesting, huh? It's like a milky clam. It feels like a softer squid. Whatever sauce that was. Liver sauce. This is liver sauce? Yeah. I wish I didn't know now. Well, those chips are pretty strong. Yeah, we'll give it a For real. And look, look at this bottle. Well, wasn't it earlier? It was like halfway. What did you do? So they're refilling it from the bottle we have in the back. I'm so glad that they did this because I told her, I'm like, hey, I want sushi. And I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, we're just gonna go to a slightly nicer sushi restaurant. And Jordan's like, nah, two star missions. Oh, even the ginger is so fancy. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Jordan, I let us have that. Another day, James Bond. Cheers. That was deep. Now you need the ginger because it's a palate cleanser. Palate cleanser means... The last taste. 
from the last flavor so you can taste like a new flavor. There you go. Bada boom, bada bing. This is the most freshest ginger I've ever had. The pink ginger has a lot of preservatives, so I'd rather stay with like the regular colored ginger, which is like this. Oh. Kuruma Eri, Japanese Tiger Prawn Shrimp. Oh, wow. Yes. It takes some breathing. Oh. Oh, yes, it's alive. It's oh, it is. But whenever I hold it, like, oh, I see it. Oh my god, it's so fresh. Yeah, it's delicious. The last one I ate, it was like soft and it was just the most perfect sushi. Like, I don't know, it's like perfect rice to ratio of the fish. Even this. Oh, even the ginger. Wow, it's so clear. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, here comes another one. Oh, Japanese Tiger Prawn Shrimp. Oh, it's Hey. <laughs> oh wow, it's the, in the middle. I like how they have a station. Like, he cooks it, he peels it, and then he prepares it and gives it to everybody else. He gives another towel. Holy. Murasaki. Oh wow. Murasaki. Okay. Wow. The color is purple. And then oh, we are going to serve you the other one later. It's called Basu Oni. Oh, dang. from uh, Japan. Hello. More gold. Oh, look at the caviar. Almost gonna fall. Look at the caviar. Oh, it matches my nails. Have it done? That's so good. Yeah, the best shrimp I've ever had. Mmm. Like super hit of like sweetness to it. Like, really good. Right? It's like buttery. I can never taste urchin though. I think but, it's just it's a very umami flavor. It's hard to describe. It's kind of like describing how chocolate tastes like. Very soft, like super soft, like softer than Jello. Fresh wasabi. No, that was my favorite. The saltiness with the crab, the real crab. Oh my god, phenomenal. With the caviar. Oh, yeah. You see the green part? The best part. I asked her, how's she liking it? 1 to 10. It's a 10. You must be out of your mind if you don't do this 10. <laughs> what number is this? Japanese wild king salmon. King salmon. Very, very rare size. Uh, we call it Osuke. 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 Very rare king salmon. We can't actually target this fish. Target this fish? Yes. What do you mean? The fisherman accidentally oh. catches this fish. Oh, he accidentally. Yes. Wow. You can catch it only by accident. Dang, we got lucky. If you go to the fish market in Japan, you can't find it. You can't find it in the fish market. Wow. That's how hard it is to get this fish. We are so lucky. That was my third favorite. The first one was the, the real crab one. The second one was a squid. I think it was that one. And the third one was this one. Oh my. It's like boiling water. Personally, it's for me. It's a still closer area of the fish. 
So this is a sweeter uni. Cheers. Oh my god. Sweetest from the seaweed. This, for some reason, their seaweed is not super salty. It's really good. My turn. Now I taste this one. I taste this one. Uni is from sea urchins. And that was probably the best uni I've ever had in my life. Honestly, it's gonna be hard to go back to regular sushi now. Ever since the experience here, this two Michelin star sushi place. Phenomenal. I'm astonishing 100%. You gotta come here. It's so good. It's so good. Oh. Japanese Look at that. Look how fatty it is. Oh my goodness. It's like the Wagyu of fish. Same part. Japanese the bottom is 17 kilograms. 17 kilograms. And the bottom is 5 kilograms. 50 pounds. My weight 77 kilograms. Which one? Customer choice. Customer choice. Sunday, I'll have a Two different ones, but from the same fish. Wow. It hits every palate in your mouth, but like, holy crap. Should I take a ginger? Or just go all the way. I was trying to savor it and keep it for later, but you gotta eat it fresh or else it's gonna go bad. It's raw. I'm telling you, this is the best I've ever had in my life. It is so good. It was just like, I think like it was like baggy. It was just so good. Janice says it's the Wagyu of sushi. No wonder I like the first one better because it's more fattier than the other. But that was so good. I heard sea party. Mm. Mm. Better than the other one? The one that just tastes barbecued. That was number two. What is that? Oh, it was this one. Oh, wow. That was good. Yeah, barbecue second best. The one before it was like the first best. freshest eel I've ever had because you could taste the difference between like a frozen eel and this is like as fresh as it can be it never frozen I was try it with the eel sauce it does have a little bit of bone but it's normal it's so soft that it's super edible number four very good I was saying to Janet that we went after another one like Good after good after good, but like, name it's not good. It's incredible, out of this world. Oh, they're from the sea of the ocean to this. This is the last piece of the course. Let's go. If you know Filipino food, it's like mamon, like a sponge cake. I was like, do we have a tip? Because he gave us our uh, his card, right? And then I was like, in Japan. They don't tip because they find it offensive. Happy birthday to you! Woo! Make a wish. Hey. Yay! That was a long wish. <laughs> I wish for a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Look how cute the little. Oh my gosh, look so cute! What is this called? Like a vase? Oh, so fancy, look at that. Fancy. I love matcha. Matcha is like in my favorite. Oh, cute. Wow, it's a, it's a panna cotta. Matcha panna cotta. And the other one. 
Is it a bean? It's good. Devour. Oh, I get another one because Janet can't eat matcha. Okay, time for me to go to the bathroom. She said I'm gonna have fun in the bathroom. I don't know what to expect. Oh my god, a big day. I <laughs> That's why she said I was gonna have fun. Bitch, it was automatic. It opened automatic. Wait, what is it? She knew I was gonna have fun. Oh, it opened. <laughs> yeah. They're so fast. They even folded the toilet paper. That quick, right after turn turn to the restroom. Oh my gosh! Even the toilet seat is warm. Overall, what do you think your experience over here at Sushi Ginza Onadera? Is it Onadera? I, I see it like in a Spanish. Way. Onadera. And I, I rolled the R. Yeah, it was it was really good. The question is, would I go here again? Yes. You know why? Because of that. Mmm. That tuna. that fatty tuna sushi one, phenomenal. Okay. Talking about the restaurant you said you would like it more if it was if you like raw yeah because i'm like i barely got into like eating raw fish because i never liked the texture so i feel like i would have liked it like to 100 percent if my palate was used to the raw fish like i was already liking it but for me i went to in i went into that restaurant trying to transition into trying to like it so i felt like i would have the uni was great though Everything else was great, but I feel like I could, you know. That's some surprise you rated it a 10 if you still have these kind I of rated it at a 10 because of the quality. I could taste the quality of the fish. Of how they take care of it. Yes. Yeah. And they showed, us like a they showed us pictures of how it looks oh, yeah, like old. On the iPad and They tell everything. us where it's from, when they get it. Like I like the second uni because it was sweeter. I was like, oof. Their sake was good, super smooth. Oh my god, that they're sweet. so strong. I mean, after three, I was I just, like, you, just, I was like, you just don't taste it like that strong, though. It tastes fruity. I like, was about to drop my phone trying to like video, and they're weird. I was like, oof, I need to just Let's go drink the beer only. Like yeah. every time I'll drink something, it's already filled up to the top again. I'm oh, like, this customer service was great. Like, did I not just finish this? Every single time we're finished with the plate, they take it away, and then every single time, and they like, wipe it down too. They know when I take my shot. I was like, what, are you gonna wipe my ass too? I'm just, I'm just saying that the customer service is so well, fine dining, top notch, 100%. About to go do some laundry. Oh, you just reminded me. Because we just came from Miami, Florida. More videos to come after this one. I'm so happy. Sayonara, carbonara. See ya tomorrow. Let's <laughs> do